بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ده هولي بروفيت صلى الله عليه وسلم said لا يؤمن أحدكم حتى يحب لأخيه ما يحب لنفسه none of you truly believes until he loves for his brother what he loves for himself this is the very famous hadith of holy prophet peace be upon him given in sahih bukhari in this hadith holy prophet peace be upon him laid emphasis on brotherhood brotherhood is a very important teachings of islam and allah lays emphasis in the holy quran also that muslims should treat each other like their brothers there is a verse in surah al-hujurat where allah says innamal mu'minun ikhwa indeed all believers are brothers so holy prophet peace be upon him in other hadith also laid emphasis on this concept of brotherhood the holy prophet peace be upon him said kunu ibadallahi ikhwana o servants of allah be brothers so islam lays emphasis on such kind of living in the community where the people respect each other they love each other and they care each other and islam does not like that kind of life where the people uh, live individually like they don't have any concern with other people they don't have any interaction for other people or that they don't have any care for the other people who are living around them islam does not appreciate that kind of society but islam lays emphasis on brotherhood and good social relationship with other people the main idea behind this hadith is that the faith of a person remains incomplete until he starts thinking for the other people in the same way as he thinks for himself and we know that every person thinks for himself in the best way he likes excellent things for himself so whenever there is a time to decide something for other people whenever there is a time we are giving suggestion or we are remarks for other people we should also think for a while that what we are going to do with that person Uh, will it will we like it for our own self if we don't like for our own self so we should not do it with the, any other person so this is a simple formula the holy prophet peace be upon him has given to the muslim community and if muslims will follow the single hadith that they will start treating other people in the same way as they want to be treated by them there will be no issues in the community and the community will become just like paradise without any quarreling or fighting in the community we can live in a very peaceful and a with by creating a very good environment this hadith also condemns selfishness the people who just think for their own benefit and they don't have any care or any regard for any other person so such people are obviously disliked and not appreciated in islam but the good people in the sight of allah and in the sight of messenger of allah are those who are sincere with other people and who are also thinking for the other people with the positive thinking they have for others so such people are highly appreciated the best example to practice this hadith in our life today is was set by ansars when ansar saw that muhajirin were in trouble in makka so they invited them to their town and they shared their properties with them they did not consider them burden and they treated them even more than better than their own selves it is called isar that they gave importance to the needs of muhajirin before their own needs the holy quran praises them wa yusiruna ala anfusihim wa law kana bihim khasasa they gave preference to them over their own needs so their own lot was poverty we can give examples from the recent history also for this uh, brotherhood like when russia attacked afghanistan so pakistan gave shelter and refuge to the afghans over here so it is a good example of brotherhood that when there is a crisis in the neighboring country and the muslims over there are in trouble so we should give them protection and refuge in our countries and similarly we can give the example that when the earthquake came in balakot and uh, the people were hit by the earthquake over there and they were in trouble so the muslims living in karachi which is a totally different part of the country they felt their pain and their difficulty and they gave uh, donations over here and blankets and medicine and edibles were sent in the trucks from here that is a good example of brotherhood in this way wherever muslims are suffering in the world today we have to help them like the people are suffering in syria today they are suffering in palestine they are suffering in myanmar so this is the responsibility of all the muslim states and all the muslim individuals to help them if they can do something politically they should do that and then if they can help them financially they should do that 
but we should feel their pain and we should not leave them alone in their difficult situations but this hadith we should not keep it only about community we should take it as individuals as well in our daily routine life we come across situation where we see that the other muslims are in difficulty they are in financial crisis they are in trouble and they need our support so instead of becoming a stone hearted instead of ignoring them we should try to help them in every possible way if we are doing this thing so that would mean that we are really treating the other muslims like our brothers that is the true spirit of islam may allah give us the uh, tawfiq to follow the hadith of the holy prophet peace be upon him and may allah develop the mercy and uh, concern for other people in our heart and uh, may allah keep us away from being stone hearted and selfish wa akhiru da'wana an alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin Allah 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 Allah